So this question has been asked in the CBSE 2010 paper. It says points A4510, B234 and C12-1 are the three vertices of a parallelogram. You know there are four vertices but three vertices are given to you. Find the vector and the Cartesian equations for the sides AB and BC and find the coordinates of D. So three things have to be found out a very lengthy question, probably a six marker. You have to find the vector equation and the Cartesian equation for the two sides first of all and then last but not the least you have to find out the coordinates of the point D. I write here solution and let's see what should be the answer and solution like. So A, B, C have been given to you. Let's take into consideration the side A, B. So you write heading side A, B. Now for this side AB, I know R is equal to A vector plus lambda vector, lambda B minus A vector. Lambda is a scalar, sorry, not for a vector. Now A vector is what found out by this point A. So R is equal to 4i cap plus 5j cap plus 10k cap, till here I hope you can comprehend, plus lambda times B vector minus A vector, means you have to subtract. So 2i minus 4i is minus 2i, 3i minus 5i is again minus 2i, 4i minus 10i is minus 6, sorry, uh, 4j minus 10j and here it should be 4k minus 10k, here it should be j, here it should be j. So this is the situation like, now you can see that minus 2 can be taken out as common. So what I do is, it is 4i plus 5j plus 10k and you can take minus 2 common. So minus 2 lambda, i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap. Now this minus 2 lambda can always be substituted by some other scalar. So it is 4i cap plus 5j cap plus 10k cap plus same mu times i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap this is the equation of r vector or you can say side a b in the vector form this is the first answer what is the first answer the vector equation for a b now the second should be the cartesian equation for a b so when you are talking about a b let's complete a b first so for cartesian equation what we have to do there is a topic in your NCERT books mentioned about the conversion of vector equation to Cartesian. So in this question only I am going to teach you that topic. So what you do is, this is the first and this is the second thing into consideration. Take the first thing, so it should be x minus x1 upon a, right? So x minus x1 is the coefficient which is 4 upon a, a is 1, the coefficient here is equal to y minus y1 is 5 upon b is again the coefficient is equal to z minus z1 is the coefficient here upon c. So this is the Cartesian equation which is very simple. So as you can see we have found out the vector in the Cartesian equation for the sides ab. Similarly you can find that for the side bc. So let us make a line and I write side bc as the heading. Now the speed can be increased because now we know what we have to do. So r vector is equal to a plus lambda b minus a was the situation means the first plus lambda times second minus first. So for side b c what is the first b? So where is b? Here. So 2i plus 3j plus 4k plus again lambda times or any scalar times. We had used lambda mu here, let's use n, right, anything you can use. Then you have to subtract. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1, so minus i. Then here it is 2 minus 3 is again minus j. Then again it is minus 1, minus 4 is minus 5. Okay. Now what you can do, again let's check it, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 minus 3 is 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. So r is equal to 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap. Here you can take minus sign common if you wish to and then substitute with some another constant. So
सो आई हैव टेकन माइनस साइन सो आई हैव आई जे एंड फाइव के राइट now this is again the vector equation for the side bc let's find out the cartesian equation for bc cartesian equation you know how to do it x minus 2 upon 1 is equal to y minus 3 upon 1 is equal to z minus 4 upon 5 so this is the cartesian equation so the two things have been done one is vector equation the other is cartesian equation one was for the side ab the other was for the side bc now what is the next questions demand the question says the last part has to be finding the coordinates of d so this is very easy even if you wouldn't have known about vector and cartesian equation by the vertices only you can find out the point d so the point d is what let's see that so the point d should be according to a b c vertices if i have this kind of a parallelogram which is again without a ruler and anything so it is not coming out to be straight so a b c d are the vertices so a is here b is here c is here so what should be your d like definitely you know the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so what you can do is from a and c you find out the midpoint o then join this diagonal b d and use that midpoint to find the other result so i'm going to do the same Let's find out O when you have A and C. So I'm just doing it orally. So four plus one is five. So it is five by two. So let's write the coordinates. So it is five by two. Then five plus two is seven by two. Last but not the least, ten minus one is nine by two. So O is found out. Once you have found out O, which is the midpoint, then you know. midpoint is equal to the vertices suppose this is having x1 as the coordinate this is having x2 so x1 plus x2 upon 2 and likewise so what should be your d like right so i have to see what is my d so let me find out d now i know 5 by 2 is the midpoint which is equal to this b vector which is 2 plus x1 upon 2 for d now 3 is equal to x1 right so 3 is your x1 that means 3 should be the first thing that has to come in my mind which is the x coordinate of d similarly just i found out 3 as the x coordinate you can find out y and z coordinate and obtain the answer so the answer would be 3 4 5 you can see the calculation can be done So three, four, five are namely the x, y, z coordinates of the point D. So you saw that we solved for side AB. Then likewise we solved for side BC. And since the question was still not complete, we had to obtain the vector coordinates, or means the coordinates of D. So we did that too.